Hello everyone, this is RJ, and I want to welcome you joining me today as we start this week uh, with another week reading the scripture and also praying according to the scripture. And as we're going through uh, this fruit of the spirit and this topical Bible reading of faithfulness, uh, I pray that not only that we remember God's faithfulness, but uh, also I pray that we will be able to hear uh, how God is calling us to be faithful. And in that note, I would like to read from Proverbs chapter 28, verse 20, where it says, A faithful person will be richly blessed, but one eager to get rich will not go unpunished. Now, I do have to say, I do, I do not agree with uh, the attitude of anyone, one person, uh, thinking that being faithful will reap a fruit of prosperity. Now, in a way, I do believe that there are some people who, who live that way and also um, reap some benefits of that way. And I, I just have a hard time agreeing with that because it is like uh, relying on lottery. Now, I'm not saying that lottery is bad, and I also know how if someone buys lottery, there's a chance of uh, reaping back of what they had invested. <laughs> I recently saw my son watching a YouTube video and there's this YouTuber who bought a million dollar worth of uh, lottery tickets. And I know it's mind blowing. And after he went through all of them, he actually uh, received 730 seven hundred thirty thousand dollars back so he he lost two hundred seventy thousand which was nothing for him the point i'm trying to make is there's those cases and just because of those cases we are not to follow that way the way that i see this verse is more close to where we see the parable of the talent where Jesus had said, you were faithful, so I am giving more onto you because you have been committed, that you have been responsible to carry out my mission. And the reason why we become faithful to God is not because we're going to be blessed. We're faithful to God because God was faithful to us first. And we are just responding to God's faithfulness. And as we respond to God's faithfulness, what happens? God adds on more of God's blessing, not for our own benefit, but for us to share that faithfulness unto this world. So that might be, a, some, that might be something that we pray for. Lord, I pray that I will be faithful to your call. And I pray that with all the blessings, the added blessings, the richly blessing that you add on to my life, that you richly add on to my life, Lord, help me to be faithful, not to use it for my own benefit, but for, for me to use it for your mission and for your mission and the people knowing your faithfulness to grow. And that should be something that we long every day that we will continue to be faithful to our Lord who is faithful and share the blessing so more people can see God's faithfulness so would you join me in this time of prayer let us pray Lord we thank you for this time that you brought us here together we thank you for your faithfulness we thank you for your love. We thank you for your unending blessings and the blessings you richly pour out into our lives, not because of what we do, but because of your faithfulness. Let it be a reaffirmation of your faithfulness in our lives. And let us commit ourselves to continue to be faithful to your ways, not for our own benefit, but for us to richly bless others so they can see 
your faithfulness and your faithfulness alone. So continue to bless us so we can become a blessing to this world as your people commit their lives to you and we commit everything to you, our Lord. As we continue to pray, I would like to invite you to pray an inter in intercession for this nation, a nation that is continuing this long fight against this virus called COVID-19, the families that were affected, the people who are fighting with this virus right now, the ones who lost their loved ones, the ones who lost their job, the ones who are seeing a death of the, of the ordinary and lost of looking at the new normal that will come, losing their sight on the faithfulness of our Lord. We need to pray and intercede that God's grace will bring us back to see God's faithfulness and witness God's faithfulness unto this world. So join me in this time of prayer. join me in the prayer that our bishop had asked us to pray every day almighty god father son and holy spirit we thank you for your blessings past present and future you are a rock and the source of our hope in all things and at all times as jehovah jireh our provider god we ask you this day to stretch out your mighty hand and eradicate from the face of the earth forever this virus called covid 19 that is spreading rapidly from continent to continent. We also pray that you, Jehovah Rapha, our healing God, will place your hand upon all those who have been stricken by this virus and restore them to full health. Be with those who have lost loved ones and are grieving. Protect all who are caring for those with this virus and keep them from contracting it themselves. Calm our fears and provide us with your peace that surpasses all understanding and strengthen us with the joy of the Lord and help us to hold firmly to the hope that only you can provide. Unify us that we, the Virginia Annual Conference, may be able to experience anew the promise of your presence 
in and through the unity of our faith, hope, and trust in you in the days ahead and forever. We offer this prayer in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you once more for joining me. And thank you for continuing to pray as we seek and hold and trust onto God's faithfulness. May you see how God blesses your day so you can share it with all who you meet and all God sends you in your life. Continue praying and let us see how God works. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye-bye.